Hey guys, what's up? Um, so today I'm going to do a get ready with me. I guess you could call it a tutorial. I don't know. I'm not trying to be like a beauty guru per se. Like I'm just trying to show you things that I do. Like I'm not trying to look up new makeup styles and like ways to enhance my channel. This is just something that I do. Anyways, basically I'm just showing you getting ready and this is how it comes out and it's just a grungy makeup look if I actually put eyeshadow on and decide to go all out which to me this is like me going all out this is how it usually turns out I either do this with like grays or browns or blacks and today I did it with like a gray um, shadow that is from the Naked Basics 2 palette um, yeah, so if you want to see how I get this look, then stay tuned. Ooh, that freaked me out. I thought it was a spider. So, my grungy makeup look. This is also a collab today, which I'm super, super excited about. Um, this is going to be with my friend Mariana. I'm going to put her channel below and maybe even insert a clip of her video here. She's going to be doing a grungy eye makeup look as well. Um, so yeah, if I have a clip, I'll put it in now. I'm really excited to be collabing with her. Thank you so much, Mariana, for teaming up with me. Um, she's such a sweetheart, and her video is amazing. She does beautiful makeup looks, like, far superior to my makeup knowledge. But, um, yeah, I figured we could do a grunge look because that is something that I do all the time, and there's no, like, there's no such thing as, like, a perfect grunge look, so I figured you can kind of see our two different takes on how we would put together um, our ideal grungy makeup. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and make sure that you press that subscribe button below if you haven't already done so and make sure that you head over to Mariana's channel. Subscribe, send her some love and some support on her video and yeah, I'll stop um, the chatter and just get into the video. Thanks for watching guys. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to be straight up with you and say that this is the second time I'm filming this. So, if you see my remains of mascara and eyeliner, that's because it wouldn't come off properly. So, bear with me. It's still going to look good. Hopefully, right? Okay. So, I'm not going to chat too much so we can just get started and hopefully this one turns out better. I found the lighting was better in here. So, okay. I'm taking my Naked 2 Basics palette and then just a fluffy like crease brush, um, crease blender brush. This brush is actually from Walmart, believe it or not, I don't know, um, I live in Canada so I don't know if um, they have like the same brands and stuff in America but they're super cheap and these are actually really good quality. I don't know about all the other brushes, this is like their brand, um, but the crease brush is crease brush is fluffy and amazing. So I'm going to take the color Primal, which you can see has a bit of fallout for me already. And I'm putting this on my eyelids. And starting to blend it into the crease. I'm literally only using one shadow. It's like a lot of the makeup that I do, like this is me really branching out. This is the day where I'm like, okay, I really feel like having an edgier look or I'm going out at night or something like that. Um, so yeah, just drag that into the crease and blend, blend, blend. I think it's not picking up as dark on camera, but it's a nice dark grayish color that looks for one side. 
other and what's great about grunge looks um is there's no like perfect grunge look like just kind of play as you go and blend in colors and see how it turns out the main thing we're doing here is just like a smoky eye so once you can achieve that look dark smoky eye dark eyeliner and mascara you've got a grunge makeup look so see i'm just blending deeply and there we go simple as that i'm gonna drag this color under my lash line kind of looking at my mirror so i cheat a little easier to do. You want things a little more precise. And then dragging it on the other side. Sorry if I make really weird faces. It's always awesome when I edit this back and I'm like, well, you look super weird when you put on makeup, but I think a lot of us do. And I've managed to get a bunch of fallout to my inner corner here, so I'm gonna work that out. Oh my gosh, it's like everywhere. I have a bit of a cold, or I don't know if it's a cold or if it's just the rainy season, but I live in Vancouver and it gets super rainy and damp depending on the day. Sometimes we have really nice days, sometimes it's really like fall. It doesn't get as cold um, a lot of other places. I'm just kind of brushing out any fallout that I got. But it definitely gets rainy and gloomy, so. I was surprised, quite frankly, I could get this good of lighting. So this might be the new spot, because I'm trying to find <laughs> places for lighting in my apartment, and it's horrible. Alright, so I'm going to take the eyeliner and just line my waterline, the top lash, or the top line, and my tight line. Good, and then I'm just going to run it on top of my lid really messily nothing too fancy we're just gonna smudge that out after so same thing no particular order necessary so just run it on the lash line and I have to say when you put liner in your like you line your tight line, it just automatically looks more grungy. And if you do what I do and some like rubs onto the eye, more than okay. Just makes everything look even more grungy. So there we go. There's that. Then I'm gonna take it a liner brush. Any liner brush will do. This one's from like Eco Tools. And then I'm gonna take the same color primal and mix it with Undone, which is a bit darker. I'm like, look at that fallout. Like, I have to say, when I got the this palette, sorry, I was super surprised because, like, everyone talks up Urban Decay on YouTube, and I was actually really surprised because I think that this palette has a ton of fallout. So, I'm just blending, and as you can see, I kind of go into where the liner meets your lashes and I just kind of blend that down just darkens up the line cool I'm happy with that a little bit of stuff falling down see it's kind of nice sometimes when you do things a couple times because I find this looks a lot better than it did the first time I did it but so curling lashes now And then normally I would clump on the Voluminous Carbon Black and then my Too Faced Better Than Sex, but because I already have some mascara on, I'm going to skip the L'Oreal and just go for the Too Faced. And I kind of wipe off some of it. This mascara can get a bit chunky, um, which I like, but also if you don't wipe it off, sometimes it's like too chunky. Um, so I kind of chunk this up even more and then I do my blush, blush, my bottom lashes as well. I don't usually do my bottom lash, lashes, why can't I talk? 
I normally don't do them unless I'm doing like a look like this. I don't usually normally put mascara on my bottom lashes, but I feel like when you do an eye like this, it needs to be really like vampy and to keep your eyes open and big, I find you need to do both. So I'm just doing that. Alright, so that's with the mascara. As you can see, it's not perfect. And I really like clumpy eyelashes look really good with this. Actually, let me get these. I also use um, this mascara, which would be amazing for this kind of look. The Colossal Chaotic Lash. Um, mine is all dried up. If I had some of that left, I would have used that too. It is perfect for a look like this. Like, makes your eyelashes really big and crazy and like how that looks so any fallout you can kind of dust off you know some people might want to put like a beige tone shadow you could put like stark up there if you want but to be honest i'm really about simplistic looks so i just kind of skip the steps that are necessary i think it looks good just as is so on to lipstick now my go-to normally is to take a deep vampy color and put that on but because I'm just actually running some errands today I'm just going to lunch with my friend I'm not feeling it so I'm gonna just put on the only kind of other lipstick that I wear right now which is Touch of Spice by Maybelline this is from their matte collection and that's what it looks like and I really like it okay so it's officially the third time I'm filming because I had fallout down my face in my last clip, so I'm gonna have to redo the lipstick. And that's my dog barking. Benny, stop. Stop barking. You're not being very nice. Okay. Now I'm getting hair on my face. This is going great. This tutorial has been awesome. I'm kind of patting it in because I find when I pat it in, it just mattifies quicker and lasts longer so yeah this is the final look hopefully there's nothing still left on my face when i go back and edit this i don't really have a brow routine this is how i do my grungy look so, hope this is helpful for you guys and you can see that you can really make makeup looks very easy and it looks like i tried a lot harder than I actually did. I should probably do this when you're not talking and trying to film it in like five, ten minutes. So, yeah, I guess that's it for now. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. I'm being camera shy. I wanted to show them. Hmm. Say hi. You know, I didn't say growl, I said say hi the camera. No, I didn't say lick off my lipstick. I said say hi to the camera. <laughs> Benny, stop licking me. He's a really big licker. <laughs> okay, we get it.